Hey guys, it's Emily. Um, I have not filmed a video in quite some time and yesterday I was book shopping with some friends and I was suddenly like really inspired to start up a booktube channel and because I already have this channel I put back all my old videos like from like 2017 when I was trying really hard to be a booktuber and I thought I'm just going to keep building off of that and making more videos and I've made a whole list of videos I'm going to attempt to film in the next few weeks but um today I thought I would do an updated bookshelf tour for 2020 because I did one in 2017 I did one in 2018 but I missed last year and I just like think my book collection has really grown a lot since then so I'd like to share it all like share my books with you and yeah I have a lot of videos coming up I'm going to try to do some readathons and like vlog style type videos in the next coming weeks because I go on break from school so I have plenty of time to film and yeah so my books are a bit of a mess like I have one, my main bookshelf there but then I have like books around my room so I might just show you my main bookshelf and then we'll go into all my other books so let's get into it I just wanted to pop in to say sorry that the camera quality was so bad in the last clip but I was filming on my iPod and now I'm gonna try to film on my phone so I think it's a lot clearer so hopefully the rest of the video will be a lot better so here is my bookshelf I'm not going to go through every individual book because that will take forever, but I'll just go through the shelves. And if you hear me moving about, I'm just balancing on my bed. So I call the top shelf my Cassandra Clare shelf because literally every book is Cassandra Clare. Except in the corner, I have The Secret Garden, Around the World in 80 Days and The Night Circus. But otherwise, they're all Cassandra. So I have two copies of Clockwork Angel, even though I don't have the rest of the books in the Infernal Devices, but I have read them a lot of times because it's like my favourite series. Then I have The Mortal Instruments, this quote book and my Isabel Lightwood Whip Bracelet, The Codex, Bane Chronicles, Dark Artifices series, my little Isabel Lightwood necklace, the original City of Glass book that I read, the other Shadowhunter books, and then I have the special edition of City of Bones and the illustrated book of all the characters. Sorry if I sound winded, I'm just like climbing around on my bed to film this. Um, next shelf is very mixed. I, I call it my series shelf because it's like mostly, yeah, it's like all series. But I have all of Throne of Glass. I'm currently reading Kingdom of Ash, and I know Tower of Dawn goes before Kingdom of Ash, but I like the white to all be together. I feel like it looks better. Um, I'm currently reading Kingdom of Ash, I'm nearly done, and then I'm going to be doing a lot of Throne of Glass related videos. And then I have the Assassin's Blade and A Court of Frost and Starlight, because next to it I have the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, which is probably my preferred series. I will be doing a video, I think, about Throne of Glass versus A Court of Thorns and Roses, like my opinions, but I'm not sure if I should wait until after I finish Kingdom of Ash to film that. And then I have my Hunger Games books. And I have this little keychain I got from the Hunger Games exhibition I went to. That was like four years ago now, or three years ago. It's been a long time. <laughs> and then I have my Divergent books. I never actually read these copies. Like I borrowed Divergent and I read it and then I bought it just so I could have it, which I don't think I'll reread it. So it was kind of pointless. Then I have Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I actually met Victoria Aveyard. I put that video back up on my channel yesterday, so I'll link it below if anyone wants to watch it. But she signed um, all the first three books, and then I got this signed as well. And I have The Cruel Prince and The Novice, both of which I haven't read yet. They're just like fit in there because they're both tall as well. And then this is more of like, it has some series, but it's more of just like individual books as well. So I have Fallen. I haven't read that yet, but I watched the movie, so I'm excited to read it. Um, the Diviners I haven't read. Unbecoming of Maradaya I haven't read either. Six of Crows, which I'm going to make a video about um, like popular books I'm excited about reading. And Six of Crows is one of them. I'm going to be reading that very soon. And then I just have some more, like, Darkest Minds I've read. Sorry if you're clicking, it's like my bed. Darkest Minds I've read, Fifth Wave I've read. And then just carry on, John Green books, and then some more series, and then The Hundred, which I read and I was very disappointed. 
I also have a video about that where I talk about adaptations and like my thoughts about the hundred, which I posted like years ago, but I'll link that below if anyone wants to watch. And then I have, I got this the Harry Potter shelf because it's mostly Harry Potter. I have this, it's a history of magic, I think. Yeah, I haven't read that yet. And then I have the Philosopher's Stone Illustrated Edition, which I did read. That like illustrations are really beautiful. And then I have just some other books. And then I have Cursed Child, both Fantastic Beasts screenplays, some others, and the Harry Potter series. I only have the new versions, I don't have the old versions. And then I have Mortal Engines, which I bought but I have not read yet. And The Maze Runner, which I have two copies of the first book. And this random, like, glass filled with beads. And I have a candle here as well. And then over here, I have these Marvel, like, picture book type books. And yeah, that's this whole shelf. I'll overview from the top. And now I'll just quickly show you my other few shelves. So on the other side of my room, I have this like mini shelf here and I bought it to put more books on. But since I don't have like enough books to fill it yet, there's only one shelf of books. So up there, I just have my Matthew Dodario um, poster. And then these are just like random things. And then this is my shelf of books. So here I have Animal Farm, which I had to read for school. And then I have some Hunger Games books, this random book. And they're mostly like books I read as a kid or like one of us is lying that I read recently. And just like extras that I don't like as much. So they didn't really like make my main shelf. Yeah, and then down here, I have a few more books. I've got like some picture book type things like One Direction, Maze Runner, graphic novel, my book from the Hunger Games exhibition. And then I have Percy Jackson, which I haven't read yet. And I don't know if I'm going to read it, like, anytime soon. I probably will eventually. But I just keep that down there. And then I have this little shelf as well. I'll just move these bags. And then, don't mind that. But um, here I just have some books from when I was a kid. So not really important or worth going through them. And then I have this shelf above my bed. So it's mostly where I keep Funko Pops. And do not mind the dust, it's very dusty. I've not bothered to clean it in a while. And, but this is my like shelf of books on here. So I keep all my Twilight books here and then Carve the Mark, which is just like an extra. And then the Hush Hush series, I'm aware I have it like placed on here backwards, but I haven't been bothered to fix that up. And then on my desk, I have just a few more books. I've got the Shatter Me series, Eleanor and Park, this book about like London stories and the picture of Dorian Gray, which is actually my parents, but I just have it there because I want to read it soon. So yeah, that was my bookshelf tour 2020. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a bit all over the place and a bit of a mess, but I haven't filmed the video in quite some time, so I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I need to like get back into it. Um, I just wanted to talk a bit about my channel quickly, so if you're interested, you can listen. Otherwise, thanks for watching. But um. As I said in the beginning, I made a whole list of all the videos I want to make. Um, I want to start posting regularly. Like, I I want to become a YouTuber. I don't know. I feel like no one's going to watch the videos, but I might as well give it a shot. So, I, as I've been getting more into booktube and reading again, I've been feeling really, like, inspired to try to have a channel of my own. Even though I sort of do, but I don't really post a video, so it kind of doesn't count. So, yeah, I might film another video now, see how I go. I don't know if both of them up, will be up today, but maybe they will. Um, so keep an eye out. And, yeah, I hope to be able to post another video again soon. See ya.